In this exercise, we're going to start out with the correct way to delete a section view. Most CAD users, myself included, would simply window all of these views and hit delete. However, that's the incorrect way to do this. Select the very first view, right click, and then hit select similar to pick all of the views themselves, and then delete them. If you window over the whole thing, what's going to happen is you're going to lose all of your section data from your sample line group and have to recreate everything. The reason we deleted our section views is because we're going to get rid of the draft view that we had and we're actually going to put these on sheets so that we can put them in our plans. Just like we did earlier, we're going to go to section views and create multiple section views. I'm going to change my section view style to section sheet. And I want to change my placement options to production. And what this is, we're going to have a DWT that already has a sheet set up. It is a 40 scale sheet and we're going to select the group plot style of sheet plot. Now what this is going to do is it's actually going to draw out our sheets and it's going to place everything uh, logically in model space so that we can then put them into paper space and uh, onto layouts and go ahead and include them in our plan sets. I'm going to go through just like I did before and change up some options. But I happen to remember something when I was doing this. Let's go back and take a look at our section placement and realize that we're using a architectural sheet D size at a 40 scale. That creates a small problem because my drawing is currently set up with an annotation scale of one foot equals 10 inches. Excuse me, one inch equals 10 feet. So I'm going to change that to a one inch equals 40 feet so that the annotation scale when it's drawn will actually match up with my sheets. And that's very important because when you're actually creating these, uh, Civil 3D does take the annotation scale into account when it's creating the sheets. So I would have had a lot more sheets than I actually should have. I'm going to go in and, and pick the sections that I want to draw and make sure everything's set the right. Now I'm going to place my section views using the section view origin. And it's going to think for just a few minutes before it drops the section view sheets in. And there we go. Instead of having the overall large group of views, I now have what looks like some viewports that I can put into a sheet, into a layout. So if we take a look at these, you'll see that the uh, the section view style that I set, it doesn't have the border, the axes around it, uh, because I've actually dropped my grid in on my sheet instead of uh, the section view itself. So I've got everything lined up on a nice grid. Uh, I do need to go in. I noticed a couple of places weren't exactly right, so I need to go in and rebuild my out of date corridor. And I also need to do the same thing with my surfaces that are now going to be out of date. All right, that had to think for just a few seconds. All right, now that it's updated, we can do that with the surfaces as well. Let's just rebuild those. And I don't set mine to rebuild automatic because I don't want it taking this kind of time every time some little edit is made. I like forcing my rebuilds when I need to rebuild them. Now that everything is there, we're going to go to the Output tab of the ribbon, and under Plan Production, we're going to select Create Section Sheets. Now, this is fairly straightforward. We select our alignment and our sample line group name. We give our layouts a name. What's going to happen is our layouts are all going to be inserted into this current drawing. And Civil 3D is going to use a sheet set to do this. So I'm going to create a new sheet set. 
and I'm going to drop it out into this folder for this exercise and call it Section Sheets. I'm going to create sheets and it's going to go through the process and create those layouts for me. It does give you a warning to complete this process. Your current drawing is going to be saved. There's really no way around that. It has to save it in order to create the sheet set. So I'll simply click OK. And it's going to think for a few minutes as it's saving the drawing and dropping these layouts in and opening the sheet set. You see we have our eight sheets listed in the sheet set and we can go down and take a look at our layouts. I'll pick section sheet number five as an example and you can see that it dropped in our layout with our title block, 